What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are now going to talk about steel framing. Okay, so after learning uh, the basics on how to um, create the foundation of your building, so this time around, we're going to talk about steel framing. So for the first topic of steel framing, we're going to add perimeter beams. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. So let's do this. So I'm going to open the level 2 of my project. So we are still working on the same project. So I'm going to open level 2 and then from the structure, so this is where we are going to select the beam tool. All right. So this is the one that we are going to select. So select that one and then for the type here, so we will be using uh, 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 1430. All right. So W 1430. So I'm going to select this type. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that the chain here is selected and then the tag on placement is selected. Okay, and then we are now going to do this. Okay, so we are going to pick the first point here. So we are going to pick the intersection. So I'm going to pick here one and then I'm going to pick here two. Okay, and then I'm going to pick another point here three. There you go. And then I select modify here to terminate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the detail level. So you will see what will happen here on the beam here on our structure of framing. It will become a single line. So I'm going to change that to course. So this is how I want it looks like. Now for this uh, short uh, distance for our beam, so I'm just going to use different size here. So again, I'm going to click this tool. Or you can also type BM. That's the shortcut for that. So I select that. Let's change this. So I select uh, 8 by 10. Click that. Okay. And then let's click from here to here. There you have it. Okay. And then I'm going to escape once. Just escape once. So we can change the type here. So let's select uh, 1430 again. All right, and then, okay, let's click from here. One, two, okay, and then up to six, and then up to here, and then up to here. Okay, and then I'm going to escape once, and then I'm going to click from here. One, and then I'm going to click here. Two, and then I'm going to escape once. All right, and then let's change this. So every short uh, segment, I'm just going to use 8 by 10. And then escape once. So we can change again. 1430. All right, so let's click from here. One, two. Escape once. We're still using 1430. Click 1, 2. Okay. And probably I'm going down here. Click. 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 And then escape once. Let's change that to um, W8 by 10 again. So let's click from here to here. There you go. And then escape once let's change that again to 1430 let's click from here to here, to here. there you go there you go all right so let's skip once change that to 8 by 10 click one two skip once change that to 14 by 30 same procedure until we finish the perimeter. There you go. And then I select here modify. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is, you see this uh, circular portion here. So let's use a different type of beam here. So I select the beam again from the type selector. So let's use uh, HSS square. So let's use, how about this one, H. SS 6 by 6 by half. So I select this one. There you go. So let's use this arc. 
start and radius arc. So let's pick this one, two, and then the nearest three. There you go. Okay, let's click from here. Then arc. There you go. From here to here. From here to here. All right. So from here to here. There you go. Then escape a couple of times. All right. So let us create our beam and the inside part. You can actually use copy, so let's try to use copy. So let's select this, click, hold control, and then click this beams, this framing, including the tags. So hold control, select the tags together with the frame. All right. So after selecting these elements, so let's copy it multiple constraint okay so i'm not going to click here click so we're going to fix the beam somewhere here okay so i'm just going to copy it first okay click there you go and then let's select your modify now this area that we have here so we're going to fix this so i'm going to select this frame you see that blue node so you just drag that snap there you go click drag the blue node snap at the midpoint okay so click blue node drag click blue node drag okay this one click blue node drag Click. Alright, so just drag. There you go. There you go. Alright, and then you can actually change this type here. So I'm going to select this two frame, including the. Alright, so I'll just select this two frame and then I'll just change the type. So this time, so let me use uh, 12 by. 20, uh, 16 by 26 so I select this there you go so as you can see automatically the tag updated as well so what else okay so we need to create our uh, beam here manually so I click this right click and then create similar okay and then let's pick one two Escape once, then click one, two, escape twice. All right. Okay, so we are now done with the horizontal beams. Okay, so let's check. All right, so for the vertical, so again, we are going to copy the beams. So I'm going to select, including the tags. So click. All right, okay, all right, okay. Okay, so here as well, click, click, all right, so let's now copy, so select copy, so let's pick the grid here as our base point, so let's copy it there, let's copy it here, let's copy it here, copy it here, and then, oh, here no need, because we already have one there, we're just going to create it manually. Okay, so let's select this, right click, create similar. Okay, so let's click from here to here. Okay, escape once, change that to 8 by 10. Let's click from here to here. Okay, and then last one, uh, 14 by 30, so let's click from here. There you go. Okay. All right. So let's go check it out in the 3D view. So I select the 3D view and let's see. There you go. So we just created now the beams or structural framing, the perimeter beams on our project. Okay. 
So as you can see, it's not that difficult. So you just need to click points, intersection, the midpoint, and then you can even modify it just in case you selected a wrong size. You just need to select that and then just change from the type selector. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you add your uh, perimeter beams. Okay, so again, in this 2D view, if you want to, um, if you want to see it uh, in, if, if, if let's say you don't want to see that in a single line, just like this one, so you can always change the detail level to fine. Okay, and then you will now see your beams. Okay, all right. So, so once again, Thank you for watching guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day.